to my channel so today we will be talking about conditional formatting on a table visual so in the previous video we have looked at how do we perform conditional formatting on a matrix table and today we will be talking about on a table visual so there is a slight difference between both of them and I will uh, walk you through the difference and we'll also try to see how we can apply this conditional formatting so let's get started. So in order to uh, compare uh, with respect to the matrix table and the table uh, visual, the main difference would be that even in a matrix table, we did have this uh, uh, date column being applied. However, the matrix table would only be allowed uh, to perform the conditional formatting on the respective uh, metrics that's on the measures, but not on the date fields or the categorical data. And therefore, we did not have that flexibility to perform the conditional formatting on a categorical data, but instead we were only allowed to perform this on the measure values in a matrix table. So today we will see how this can be um, overcome by using this table visual. So in order to apply this conditional formatting, again, we would have to select this particular visual first and that would allow us to see this conditional formatting being um, applied and enabled. And now we would need to go to this uh, format your visual or on this uh, visualizations pane and where you can see the list of all the values that have been considered in the table layout. Uh, we also see this order date as part of it. And if you just click on this drop down and see that there is an option called conditional formatting. So which means that only for table uh, based visual uh, when compared to matrix, this uh, conditional formatting would allow us to apply on a categorical data here, which is a order date column. So now I can just select based on how I would like to apply this conditional formatting and uh, do this uh, respective uh, highlight of the data. Now, I'll just do this conditional formatting for the rest of the metrics because I do not want to highlight any specific date because this data do not hold such um, relevant information. So therefore, I'm just going to apply it only on the measure values. So now I'd like to apply it on the profit. So by using a background color and uh, specifying it by a gradient and adding it by a uh, middle value or a middle color and just apply. And similarly, I'll go by the sales, go by the conditional formatting, and I'll also go by the data bars. And uh, so if you see here, uh, when I've selected the data bars on the sales measure value, it gives me another option where I can just say, show the bar only or with the value as well. Okay, so if I just uncheck this option and hit on uh, okay, you see, so you could see both the bars along with the values being populated. But if I just select this uh, option off, so I'll, I'll just say, show bar only. Now you see, so the values have been disappeared. Instead, only the bars have been populated. So this is the main difference between enabling that option and uh, having that option. So I just uh, uh, unselect this particular option so that I can get to see both the bars along with the values. Next, I will apply this uh, on the other two measures. So I'll just go back to the quantity measure and apply this uh, formatting. So here I'd like to apply it based on the um, maybe icons and leave it as is. And uh, the last one that we have is the discount. So I'll just select this discount drop down and I'll change the summarization to average. And uh, now I'll go to the conditional formatting and apply that by some uh, font color. And here I just leave it as is and hit on OK. OK, so this is how we would be allowed to apply conditional formatting on a table based uh, visual in Power BI. So that's it for today. So we will continue this topic in the next session where we will be talking about how do we apply a conditional formatting on a column. And we will also see how we can create a 
calculated column and a measure and how do we perform this conditional formatting so thank you for today and if you do like this video please do like share and subscribe and please do not forget to hit on the notifications bell icon and uh, see you again thank you